Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Today I just want to give you a little update on my bulk that I recently finished, what I've been doing since then, and about my cut, how and when I'll start cutting. So it was not this most recent Friday, it's Monday today, but the Friday before that I officially had my last workout of the bulk. And since then I've already switched back to an upper lower split twice per week instead of a push pull leg split twice per week, so lowering frequency and volume a bit just you know, not actually deloading, like not training hard, but just kind of deloading in comparison to what I've been doing for these last few months. And um, yeah, it's been nice to just enjoy some of the random workouts. You know, when I go in, I don't really have a plan, just do whatever I feel like. Uh, after having followed a very set structure where I kind of force progressive overload to build muscle and get stronger, you know. And yeah, I, I just um, tried out some regular benching in preparation for taking a personal best. You know, I wish I could have gone for um, personal bests uh, on the front and back squat too, but my hip, the hip situation is not great right now. I'll say already right away though, just backing off now for a little more than a week on the heavy stuff, just doing whatever feels good for the hip, it's already getting better. So uh, yeah, it will be nice to finally allow that to properly heal and we'll see I, I managed to do good progress with the squats it it wasn't until at the very tail end of the bulk that i started having problems with the squats but yeah unfortunately i can't really test what my maximum strength is there right now but so i i did try some regular benching last week and so today i went for a 130 kilo personal best attempt and I hit it, and I was really happy about that. To be honest, you know, because I always compare myself to what I think is possible and people I know that are ahead of me, so I am personally not that impressed with 130 kilo bench press. When it's 140 and over, that's that's when I'll be happy. But, you know, being more objective and not getting all, my ego get in, all involved there. You know, I am uh, the bench press, fuck you, little motorcycle there. Uh, the bench press is the lift that I have worse leverages for, that I'm worse built for. I have somewhat long arms, don't get a big arch, so I have a very long range of motion. So looking at it that way, it's, you know, it's a lot of weight to move. Some, someone would have like, um, maybe not half, but a lot shorter range of motion. So I'm happy in, uh, with it in that way. Um, last week, I one one uh, upper body workout. I tried working myself up to a single of 125. That was smooth, so I was uh, figured, figured like 130 should be doable next week. And it was. Uh, it was kind of a coin flick, but uh, I feel like the bench press. When when you have unracked it, I almost always know if I'm gonna hit the wrong. If the weight feels really heavy in your hands already here, then it's hard to get it up. But I felt like yeah, I, I can do this. There was, um, I felt like I was doing a pass. I was thinking I'm passing the rep. I don't know if it counts as a true pass, but at least it wasn't like a big like bounce, like an actual touch and go. Like no matter, even if it's not a proper pass that would like count in a powerlifting meet, you know, it's. Um, I know that because I was thinking that way, that I wasn't really like bouncing it big time. The the butt started taking off, but I could feel it touch the bench the whole time. And this is the thing when you're just training for. If you have some strength goals, but you're not really into, you know, competing in powerlifting, you have to set some kind of standard for yourself. And I'm pretty happy. And as long as I don't feel like I do a big bounce, and as um, long as my butt doesn't completely lift off, because that puts you in a stronger position, um, then, then I'm happy with it. And randomly, I decided to try, try an 80 kilo overhead press too, and I got it. And I was. Uh, I did not think I was gonna get that, especially after having done uh, like what, what pretty much seems to be my true one rep max on the bench press, but I got that too, so that was cool. Chin up, no no point in, in trying to hit some kind of personal best here. When I'm this heavy, there's no way I'm gonna beat that 50 kilo chin up that I did on the fourth day of my Christmas fast. <laughs> uh, no way I'll be getting that now. So yeah, not. I wish I had more things my personal best zone, but it was really just a bench press and shoulder press that, yeah, that I could do it with. And so, uh, for my plans with the cut, um, I, I've already put out the video, like how I'll cut after bulking, and I made a point that when, when, um, when you become so adapted to the fasting, and you have this, you know, it's a big priority for you with your bodybuilding goals and stuff, 
Uh, it's just not that difficult. I don't even have to have a, a huge plan for it. Uh, the, the only thing I know is I'm going to do 72 hour fast ish going into it every time. I'm going to just lower the food and eating uh, um, you know less rice basically remove a meal here and there some some days I'll eat two meals instead of three you know and then just by feel do do the occasional 48 to 72 hour fast but I've decided that I am gonna do this first one dry the dry fast and by the way um, if you're interested in dry fasting check with your doctor and all that first because it is a quite extreme thing I can't really say that um, you know that I've experienced I'm just talking about my experience now but I've experienced a lot of positive benefits from it but you can't get away from that it's also it is definitely a big stress on the body being away from not only food but actually water too for several days uh, I do this mostly because um, I want to again curb my stimulant addiction I have this the snooze tobacco that uh, I tend um, I don't think it's, it's a huge deal if we're talking health um, when I quit I quit for a few months now it's not that I really can tell any improvements in my health but I just don't I can't claim that it's a good thing and I don't like being addicted to it and over consuming it so I do this every once in a while the dry fast uh, you know just a complete reset and it all, all, always helps to use this less for a little while and the same goes for caffeine that it's so weird my relationship to caffeine I sleep well and all I don't really need it for energy it just goes really well with this and I, I guess I just like being stimulated even though I barely know what the coffee feel like something about it I like but yeah so I, it's mainly this reason why I do a dry pass to start with but I am also a little cu curious you know like Having bulked like this, like the first fast, uh, always lose a decent amount, even if it's a snake juice fast, uh, because you know uh, I've, I've like gained body weight and raised my vitality, eating and training a lot, you know. So I've poured a lot of oil on the metabolic flame, and you go into the fast with this big, big fire uh, inside you, <laughs> your metabolism, you know, and cut a lot of weight, but. Um, yeah, I'm a little curious because I, I I will, as I have before, I will use the sauna on the dry fast. Definitely uh, check with your doctor before doing something. I, I don't recommend it at all, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, obviously on a dry fast and especially with a sauna, you lose a lot of temporary water weight. But there is that theory from Cole Robinson's snake diets that, uh, you know, fat cells are partly made up of water and when you dehydrate yourself that your body will actually burn through some extra fat to get that water from the fat cell uh, with my experience I, I think there is something to that you know when I, I, um, uh, I don't even remember exactly why I decided to do a dry fast this fall but I did one you know uh, I, I guess I felt like again it was time to curb the stimulant addictions but uh, I, I just looking at the pictures after I refed re um, and had a workout and I'm like pumped I looked like super shredded uh, so, so yeah because I didn't do that fast for weight loss purposes I didn't watch the scale too much like what what actually like, I remember watching it while fasting and stuff but like what the actual weight loss was at the end because I was not starting a cut it was just a one of fast you know but I am a little curious now to see how much yeah a dry fast will lose me um, yeah at this point so um, uh, I, I wanted to start it today actually because uh, I've just been looking forward to I, I miss the fasting when I'm away from it from a while and it just um, it just um, it's when I start fasting and it's always like um, it start a positive circle I, I like the way I feel from it I get excited I get in, mo motivated inspired I want to tell you guys more about fasting and stuff I, I yeah I get like more natural inspiration to all of that and I just feel better so I've, I've been wanting since I am done with a cut I hit the personal best and I kind of want to start it but I have a bunch of things I just have to deal with during the week that aren't you know tough difficult things but if you are dry fasting and a stimulant addict who doesn't get their stimulants pretty much mo many things are annoying to do so I'm just making the mature choice here uh, and passing it when all of that will be done I don't have as much on my plate next week so um, yeah just saving it for next week seems appropriate I haven't fully decided yet but I think I'm starting it on Sunday like I have my last meal at you know regular dinner time or slightly early like 5 p.m. or something and then a few hours later have some um, baking soda with water and you have the baking soda for the dry fast specifically because when your body gets dehydrated it gets very um, 
acidic for the kidneys in particular and just the, the baking soda the, I can't go too deep into it I don't know all the big brain details I just know that it helps the kidneys it prepares the kidneys for for the dry fast helps them stay less acidic you know uh, so most likely on Sunday evening otherwise it's gonna be Monday but I think uh, it will work out uh, I was thinking it's not uh, I do pretty well with just going from eating carbs into a fast uh, I, I don't get that you know glycogen starvation feeling that you can get sometimes but when you're running out of glycogen on the fast because I, I guess I've adapted to it just having gone through it so much but I was still thinking maybe I'll eat low carb leading up to the fast I, I and low carb what I'd say, I say yeah I just really don't enjoy eating keto <laughs> you know uh, high because I have to eat so many calories that the amount of fat just gets like, ugh, you get so tired of it you know so I think not necessarily low carb or keto I'll just lower the carbs <coughs> for this week you know Saturday I have you know a social thing where I just won't be able to get away from carbs uh, so that's what it's gonna be you know slightly lower carbs I say the Sun is going away I, that's why I'm moving more and more out to the left here um, but yeah uh, and I think I'm gonna do like uh, I, I sometimes I you know protect myself when I do fast and see it will see if I put out a video on every day but with the dry fast uh, because I end up doing it like all, always but on the dry fast it's not sure especially being away from the stimulants I might just not be in a good headspace at all so it would be entirely up to if I feel like okay you know what I, I can just tell you a little bit uh, how, how the fast is going and how I'm feeling th then I'll do it but uh, don't count on it but uh, obviously um, tell you when it starts and ends and uh, report the results from it but then I think I'm gonna do something like a week, just like how, uh, how I've been updating my bulk how it's going week by week I think I'm gonna do the same with the cut so that's it guys that's my little update about bulk hitting some personal bests and how I'll start cutting so please comment if there's anything you're wondering on comment anyway comment whatever it helps more people find the channel so I appreciate it a lot um, yeah, you, you've been good at that lately, so please keep it up and please like. Again, all likes and comments help support the channel, so please, I appreciate it. Please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, building muscle, losing weight, self-improvement, and common sense takes on many different things. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Peace. And by the way, one last thing. I, I was going to cut my hair. I was going to cut my hair when I started cutting, and some people don't want me to do that. What do you think? Should I grow it out and have really long hair, or should it go? You decide. Okay, yes.